Hey, what it do? I'm Ashley and thank you for clicking on my video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I use the new Wash & Go collection on my hair. This will be my honest opinion and no, this is not a paid promo. This is my very first time using this brand and I love the fact that it's black owned. How dope is that, right? So let's get into this Wash & Go. Here we have the Do No Scrubs Exfoliating Shampoo. It's supposed to gently remove buildup to restore moisture. And this shampoo definitely cleans my hair without stripping or without drying it out. Um, here you will see that the soap is a pink reddish color. That's only because before I started to shampoo my hair, I did have this temporary wax color on my hair. Um, it was the color red. So yeah, you can see that this shampoo is definitely getting it out of my hair. And then I'm also using this shampoo brush. And I will definitely use this shampoo again. Um, I like the way that it smells. It gives off this peppermint, minty kind of smell. Um, but however, I definitely uh, will use this shampoo again. Here we have the Dew. That's deep. It's a five minute deep conditioner. Um, it definitely hydrated my hair. It has great slip. Um, so it made it easier for me to comb or brush through my hair. Um, so I left this conditioner on for about five minutes and then I rinsed it out with lukewarm water. And I definitely will be using this conditioner again. And there's no complaints about this conditioner. Here we have the Dew Pop Lock. It's a five day curl forming glaze. It's supposed to give your hair lasting hold and definition for all types and textures of hair. Here on the bottle it also says that you're supposed to apply to clean wet hair, rake or shingle from root to ends, diffuse or hood dry. For best results, do not apply oil prior to use. So after I rinse out the conditioner, I did not apply any leave-in conditioner or I did not apply any oil. I went straight to the glaze and applied it to my hair. As you can see, I'm trying to rake it through my hair. And um, my hair was also wet before I apply this. And then after raking it through, I will try to shingle the ends of my hair to give it some type of definition or curl. Now, once I finished doing that, I did use a hood dryer, which I, um, I'm sorry, not a hood dryer. I used a handheld dryer to diffuse my curls, which I did not um, show on camera. Now, after I dried about, um, it did give a five day hold. So on like the second day, I did put my hair in a hot puff and I still, um, my hair still had a hold to it. It was still defined. It still had some type of curls to it. And it did not, leave any white residue on my hair. So that's what I love about it as well. So my hair definitely took well to this um, product. And also, um, it didn't leave my hair crunchy. It gave it a hold, but without the, uh, without being super crunchy. Um, I will say that um, about the fifth day, I still had the curls. So it did, um, this glaze do, um, last um, five days as it said on the bottle. So I definitely would recommend this for people that want to have some type of definition, some type of curl pattern to their hair. Definitely use this. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that once you do apply this glaze to your hair and start to work it through, it will feel like foam, um, which is not a bad thing. I just want you guys to know what to expect once you do apply this to your hair. Also, if you are still watching my video, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like this video, share this video, 
And also drop a comment below and let me know what you think. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Here we have the Do Swag Goo Edge Control Gel. Um, this definitely gave a strong hold to my edges in the front. However, I'm not the type of girl that do the baby hairs and make them look fancy. I just brush my edges back or slick them down going back. But in the back of my head, where the kitchen is, this edge control, it gave it a hold, but not all day like I would like it or like um, some other edge control gel that I have used that keeps my hair slicked down in the back. But however, for the front of my head, or for the edges that's in the front of my head, it definitely gave a strong hold. It wasn't greasy and it definitely did not flake. So I definitely will be using this edge control again. So all in all, the Do Wash and Go collection, I highly recommend this. Um, I definitely will be using this again from time to time. Now, thank you for watching, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, like, share, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.